Hi everyone, so this video is going to be about um, hair brushes for curly hair. I know I've said this a few times I was going to do this and I've been um, a little bit busy so I haven't done too many of the curly hair series videos but I think this is going to help a lot of you. So the first common hairbrush that people with curly hair get told to use is a wide tooth comb. This is what a wide tooth comb looks like. And basically people say these are good to use because they can kind of get through your hair and they don't really kind of disturb the curl pattern because they're spaced quite far apart. And these are good if you have quite thin curly hair. If you've got long thick curly hair then I find these types of brushes are just really really not very good because I find I can never brush my hair. I can kind of get till about there and then I start to having to pull and I really 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 dislike it. They're very inexpensive so that's a good side. They're about you know a pound in some shops, two in others. Very very inexpensive and um, they are good at kind of using on wet hair so if you like to brush your hair when it's wet then these could work for you but I wouldn't recommend them for curly hair. The next brush is just a normal hair brush um, that just looks like this. This one was from Boots I think and um, these are good for curly hair if you are in a rush because make sure they have the little bubbles on the ends so they don't damage your hair. But these are good because the way I brush my hair is I section it into two parts at the front and then just brush down, brush the middle and just kind of brush it that way. This is a good one. It doesn't really damage um, your hair too badly or pull at it because you do get quite a lot of grip. So you can do it quite um, in a directed sort of way if you know what I mean. But they're not the best, best for your hair and they do cause a lot of breakage. But if you're in a hurry then these are quite good and I tend to use this in the shower when I'm in a hurry. The next one is just a round brush. This is what my one looks like and um, it's a Vidal Tassin one. And these are good only if you're trying to kind of blow dry volume into your hair. Otherwise I'd stay clear of these. I really, really don't like these types of brushes. For curly hair though, what I do use this for is if I'm straightening my hair with straighteners, I kind of pull it out and then I think you can get the hair a lot better. But for curly hair, then I think this is a bit of a no-no. But the best, best hairbrush, and I'm sure you're all going to know what I'm going to say because I've spoken about it before, is the Tangle Teaser. I've got the pink one, and I absolutely adore this brush. It is the best, best, best hairbrush ever. It, um, it's got kind of long, lots of long and short plastic little bristles, but it's absolutely amazing at getting tangles out. It doesn't damage your hair when it's wet, and I notice, like, if I brush my hair with this, I only ever brush my hair when it's got conditioner on it in the shower. But um, if I brush my hair with this, then my hair comes out a lot more in the brush than if I do it with this. And the trick to using the Tangle Teaser is to kind of hold the hair and just do it that way. So I've made that bit go all frizzy and horrible now. Never mind. Don't matter. Um, but yeah, this is about £10, so it's a little bit pricey for some people. Um, I would absolutely repurchase it. This is my second one of them. They do last a long time. Really, really great. They come in a variety of colours. You don't have to have the pink one. You can have a small one to keep in your handbag if that's what you want. And they are just a mo the most... <coughs> <coughs> I've got a bit of a cold, sorry. These are just the most amazing, amazing hairbrushes you could ever ask for. They're um, available in Boots and they are available in the website as well. I'll link the website of the Tangle Teaser in the description box for you. But they are available in Boots and they're about £9.90 or something, so a tenner. And they're amazing. But like I said, if you've got fine hair, um, what you could do with one of these wide tooth combs for example to kind of give your hair a bit more definition is after you've brushed it with a normal you know whatever hairbrush you were using just comb through it because it sectioned it in wider parts so you get a more defined curl but um, I just find these are really difficult to work through tangles with these are not meant to work tang to work you know tangles out really and um, these types of brushes are good but they can damage your hair a little bit so that is why the tangle teeth there is the absolute winning winning hairbrush for me 
So if any of you have got any questions about this kind of thing, um, pop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you and I hope you'll have a great day and yeah, bye.